All right, guys, so this is the GM style towing mirrors for this 2017 Toyota Tundra. The reason why I got these mirrors are because when I'm hauling, um, you know, a load to the junkyard or, you know, just to the dump, um, it tends to cause a visual concern um, when it comes to the stock mirrors. Especially when I'm trying to navigate the trailer, trying to back up the trailer into a tight spot. Uh, these uh, tow mirrors, they definitely help um, when it comes to that blind spot. Because as you can see here, uh, you can see, like you can literally see uh, my rear tail light. Um, and for instance, if my trailer was behind me, you'll be able to also see... Uh, the trailer also in the back, especially if safe is if I'm uh, backing up, turning my trailer in, I can actually uh, be able to monitor the rear end of the trailer, um, such as the, uh, you know, uh, tires, uh, where the trailer ends, um, so that way it can help me, uh, you know, identify where I need to go with my trailer. The features of this mirror is you got your heated, heated mirrors and you have your blind spot sensor off okay so i'm gonna press the button and i'm gonna show you uh that it's uh reinitializing there's that reinitialize and it goes right away does it on both sides um i don't get any type of error message or anything like that that i have my parking brake on just in case you're wondering and that that's my uh tire sensor because my tire pressure um, sensors are they're not, they're not in my truck <laughs> they're in the garage this is what she looks like from the outside so these are just basically your turning indicator this is not the um, this is not like day running these are uh, lights I mean you can you can you can, you can wire these lights uh, if you want to wire them as like day running lights, so you have like a custom toggle switch to turn them on whenever you want to but um, Basically, it's supposed to be advertised as like blind spot uh, LED lights so that way say for instance you're kind of close to like a bush or a wall or something of that nature and it's dark pitch dark black um, and You need some light. These are actually going to provide light for your mirror so you can be able to navigate your mirrors around they do require that you actually do manual wiring. Um, when it comes to the actual heated uh, mirrors, uh, you can't really, there we go. Heated mirrors and the blind spot, it's pretty much cable in to your uh, stock wire harness. And of course the power, you know, movement, I'll show you. That's all what they refer to as plug and play. So you don't have to really uh, mess with that. The heated heated mirror features that works. This mirror is also supposed to be, uh, I think heating and cooling, um, but you know, it's, it's still somewhat summer. So I haven't really touched that feature to really tell you if it works. Let's turn on the turner signal. So we're gonna do the left turner signal. See our left turn the signal works. And it is, it's also the same thing for uh, the right side, but we don't really need to show you that. So I'm gonna do my emergency light. And just to show you emergency light feature works perfectly fine so yeah um, yeah pretty much this is this feature your turning signals uh, your blind spot indicator as well as your heated um, monitor feature that's all 
cabling to that wire harness, which that wire harness is plug and play. Uh, when it comes to this, these actual mirror lights, the secondary mirror lights, you have to uh, manually wire those in, which that feature is not installed yet. Um, and reason being is because I was going to pretty much wire that feature to our truck bed light so that way when I turn this bed light on, um, those lights will come on, but I just didn't get to it yet. So you'll take your wire, you connect it to the connector, uh, and then you have your positive and negatives and you'll run them through here. Pop this garment open, um, pull your wire through, probably pop a hole somewhere, um, and then feed it through and then feed it all up here. It's gonna take me some time to really do it because when I do it, I wanna do it clean. I don't wanna do a rush job, so that's why I didn't install it yet, especially um, just doing the install itself. I realize, I forgot to tell you guys, these are manual fold and manual extending. Ah, there we go. Manual fold, manual extended. Ah. I usually ride with my mirrors inward um, instead of extended because it's perfect like that. Um, now, when I have my trailer, I extend them. Uh, and usually, like my trailer got you know, got your boards and stuff like that up. So, yeah, visual is everything. I want to see if that that fits there. It's going. I don't know if you guys can really see it, but the blind spot monitor, it did go yellow. There we go. Tight mirror. Pull that bad boy there. She got enough clearance over here. Good clearance over there. And we're good right here. That's about it. Uh, comes to the tight mirror spots that I experienced. Just pretty much that drive throughs. Uh, thank you. Uh, it's just pretty much at uh, the drive throughs. Uh, typically, experience it's not that common, though. It's not that common.